All right, hello, Mr. Ippolito students. What's up? This is Mr. Ippolito, and it is my pleasure to announce to you the War of 1812 Propaganda Poster winners for 2021. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And our first category is card stacking. You'll recall that the Carl, you'll, you will recall the card stacking technique is when you present all the arguments for one side, the side that you want to argue, but you just sort of ignore or gloss over any possible negatives uh, that may exist uh, for your argument. So the winner of the card stacking category is Ella Kirshner. Congratulations. This is Ella's right here. Don't add fuel to the fire. This war is an exercise in futility and can bring nothing good. So Ella, congratulations. Winner of card stacking. Our next category is name calling. The name calling propaganda technique is when you say uh, negative things, bad things about your opponent or about the side that you are against. So the winner of name calling is... Kainu Karuja, congratulations. Do you want them in charge? Join the fight. Name calling against Britain. You see the British flag being raised over the United States Capitol. Nobody wanted that. And so a uh, great example of name calling. Okay, next category is bandwagon. Bandwagon is the propaganda technique where you try to convince someone to join your side because everybody else is doing it. So go ahead and jump on the bandwagon. The winner of bandwagon is... Maddie Payton, congratulations. Uh, Maddie, with your poster, don't be sitting. It's time to beat Great Britain. Also a good slogan, too. So uh, a lot of uh, impressive hand drawing also in there. So congratulations. Great job, Maddie. All right, the next category is testimonial. This is when you use a famous person or a respected person, a celebrity or a very well-known politician to try to sell your argument uh, or your product. And the winner of testimonial is... Elliot So, congratulations. This is a very clever use of Thomas Jefferson being swapped out, as a matter of fact, for Ronald Reagan. Uh, you remember we saw the Ronald Reagan uh, Chesterfield cigarettes ad, uh, and he very cleverly swapped out all the Ronald Reagan stuff for Thomas Jefferson. So this is testimonial. Great job, Elliot. All right. Our next category is transfer. We're actually going to uh, shift and save transfer for last because transfer is also our best in show. Uh, category, the uh, the best overall poster. So we're going to move now to glittering generalities. This is where you uh, you just make it very like use glittery, flowery language, nothing specific, but um, language that invokes pride in or or happiness or just try to you try to uh, invoke good feelings in in a product or in a cause. And the winner of glittering generalities is. Ishita Pugera, congratulations, Ishita, proud, strong, brave America. And you got the picture of Andrew Jackson there, and it's even glittering, right? It's got those like sparkles around Andrew Jackson. So she took an original, uh, she took a, a, an existing piece of artwork and glittered it up and also then added, um, so transformed it enough so that it was uh, a new piece of artwork. So um, if you're wondering like, hey, didn't that image already exist? Well, it did, but she's, She's transformed it enough to turn it into a new image. So uh, Ishita and super clever on the uh, on the slogan as well. So Ishita, congratulations for glittering generalities. And then finally, the last category, well, second to last, because we're saving transfer till the end. Uh, second to last category is plain folks. And plain folks is the propaganda technique where you try to portray everyday ordinary uh, people using your product or joining your cause if it's like a war effort. And so the winner for plain folks is... Leo Hernandez, who actually kind of had a, of course, you get a strong bandwagon vibe from this, but this is trying to depict like every man could potentially join the army. Um, so why not you? So a little bit of, little bit of both, a little bit of bandwagon and a little bit of plain folks. And this was definitely the plain folks winner. So Leo, congratulations to you. Okay. We have a couple more categories that I've added um, just because I wanted to award more winners. Uh, and I thought these were fun categories. So the winner for most patriotic uh, so the best use of the red, white, and blue and American imagery. Congratulations to uh, Srinity, Srinivasa Subu. Uh, Srinity, congratulations. Srinivasa Subu, yes, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Srinity, congratulations. Most patriotic. All right, um, next is the category of best slogan. And the best slogan winner goes to Emma Buliga. Also a really cool image, too. Just really cool artwork. But um, the judges and I were struck by this slogan. The sequel is always worse than the first. So um, reference, obviously, to movie sequels, but also this is sort of like the sequel to the American Revolution, the War of 1812. So very clever slogan, Emma. I love that. So congratulations, uh, Emma Boliga. All right. Um, next category is, you know, most of these were done digitally, but 
you know, uh, hand drawn on paper, that kind of that technique, that artwork is almost like an, a lost, a lost medium, right? So I wanted to award best hand drawn on paper or best paper medium. And so that winner goes to uh, Mahith Yoruba. So Mahith, congratulations. Uh, super clever artwork on this and really, really well done. Beautiful artwork. So Mahith, congratulations, best on paper. And then finally, we save um, the best in show for last. This was the winner. This was the, the judges and I believe that overall, this was not only the best transfer, but just the best overall. Super, super clever and super well done. Great artwork, just really cool all around. So it is my pleasure to uh, announce the winner for transfer and the winner for best in show. Congratulations to, drum roll, Corinne Malloy. Look at this. This, so Corinne, I'm pretty sure because I asked her about this, um, hand drew this, but on a digital device, right? So like on an iPad, um, but had it had some digital elements in there with the flag, like thief bag. Anyway, super clever. Like this, this looks like it could be the artwork for like a book cover, right? So um, Corinne, awesome job. Best in show and best transfer. Hey, I just want to say thank you to all of our uh, participants, everybody who submitted an entry, everybody who did the assignment. I appreciate you. And I just appreciate you being in my class. So I uh, want to say thank you again and have a wonderful evening. I'll look forward to seeing you in our next class. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.